We are I am Natsu Dragneel. Hey, I'm Gray. Put your clothes back on, you damn underpants, Shogun. Oh, you want to go, General's no face? Yeah, come on, bring it, droopy eyes. <laughs> I'm Loki, and ladies, my number is... <laughs> and you can text me anytime. <laughs> I am Elfman. Yeah, for my fist to move your face. Hey! Shit like that when I'm trying to fight Gray. <laughs> oh yeah? Well, you still haven't beaten me yet, Gray. Oh yeah, you wanna go again? No. Gray it did. <laughs> Until the two of you are stronger than me, no fighting. Okay, <laughs> 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 hey, good. Urza, why don't you just let them be? Isn't it better this way? Hey, Charles. Yeah. No way! Hmm? Hey, Natsu? Huh? Remember when I asked you if I could be your wife a long while back? Uh-huh. That question still stands. What? It still stands. Uh -huh. Don't you get involved in this, Gray. It's the big bad Natsu gonna get angry! Fire dragons first! <laughs> Whoever the hell else we feel like bringing into this show, I'll give you a clue. Shubidooba! Welcome to episode 5 of Fairy Tale. Kind of interesting that it's 5 and not 4. It would have been even funnier if it was the 4 on the 4th. Uh, but for uh, some of us, it's still actually the 4th of July. Uh, fireworks will be going on, so I apologize for any explosions you may hear going on in the background for some of us. But yeah, craziness abounds. Uh, we've got an interesting episode for you this week. In the anime, we're recapping episodes 5 and 6 because we're going to stay current with what Funimation is putting out on their streams when we do our recaps. So it, it actually works out pretty well. Then we're going to recap chapter 241 for you today. But uh, yeah, no fairy tale news this time. There's There's really nothing new. And I was digging around for way too long trying to find something, but... Unfortunately, there's nothing new to report. Uh, everything that we could cover has already been done in previous episodes, so I'm sorry, guys. No real new fairy tale news. Aside from the fact that Volume 13 has been released, Volume 14 of the manga will be out on July 2nd this year. And uh, make sure to look for that in the bookstores and pick that up. It's actually the second half of the Luxus arc. So it's the Battle of Fairy Tale and all that stuff. Sorry, I'm trying to keep this as much spoiler-free as I can because I realize we have listeners that listen to our anime recaps that are done at the beginning and may not be current with the manga. So I'm just letting you know that this is what's going on there and that's all I'm going to say. But those who've already read the manga should know exactly what I'm talking about and uh, make sure to go and show your support for the official title and uh, for Hiro Mashima and this wonderful, wonderful series by going and picking that up. Uh, you can also pre-order it on Amazon and places like that that uh, sell manga. You should totally go up and check it out. Yeah. All right. Moving away from that, we are going to now move on to the anime recap.
So this week's episodes were episodes five and six, and uh, it's basically the beginning of an arc. I don't even remember what we would title this arc. Is it the... Uh, what what was the name of the Dark Guild? Eisenwald? Right Eisenwald, yes. Yeah, you. go me. Go you for your extensive knowledge of this series. I am loving having Mira Jane on here. Uh, but yeah, it's the Eisenwald arc, and it's it, it, the two episodes take you pretty far into the beginning of it. Uh, first things first, we get to meet Erza for the first time. Yay, Erza! And uh, she shows <laughs> up. She shows up, and everybody's afraid of her, and you're wondering why. I mean, yeah, she kind of she kind of yells at everybody at the beginning, and you're like, uh, okay, so she's kind of bossy. I don't see why everybody's so afraid of her. And then they explain that. She's beat the crap out of Natsu and Grey and Loki pretty easily. And you're like, okay, that kind of is something to be afraid of. Uh, so she asks for Grey and Natsu to team up with her to help her take down this dark guild because she heard that there's plans going on. And she has no idea what's really going on specifically. But they're taking a train to the area that she knows they're headed towards. And, of course, Natsu gets his motion sickness. Lucy joins them because Mira asks her to keep an eye on Natsu and Grey when Ares is not looking. Of course, that doesn't really do anything. They, they're still going to be them. Uh, Lucy's not intimidating at this point, so she's not going to do anything to stop them, really. She didn't have a choice or a chance in hell. Erza explains what she overheard and what they plan on doing. Previously, you find out that the Master is at a meeting with several other Masters from different guilds. And that's the reason why uh, he's not really involved at this point. Gray shows his abilities to Lucy, and you realize he can create ice. So it's pretty cool. Pun intended. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they They leave the train, and then... Ares and everybody forget that they left Natsu on the train, and the train takes off, and that's just hilarious. He ends, up encountering, he ends up encountering one of the members of the Eisenwald Guild, which is the dark guild that they're actually there to fight. Ares pulls the emergency brake and halts the train, which happens to be very opportunistic, because as soon as the train stops, uh, Natsu's able to start fighting back. And then the train starts back up again. He gets knocked out of the train. They go chasing the train. And I love how Natsu flies out from the train and hits Grey right in the face. Like, that was just hilarious. Is it just me or um, the guy that he faced, Kagiyama, I think his name is? Mm -hmm. Did he not remind you of Shikamaru? Like, I kind of a little bit with his shadow manipulation. Shadow it's He's very much, his character, the way his character set up and his ability is very reminiscent of Shikamaru, but it's it's extremely funny that he's voiced by Orochimaru. So, and I'm talking about the Japanese voice. Um, I don't think Steve Blum is involved with this particular project yet. I don't know, he may be. But um, it, it was really interesting to have that going on. Natsu explains what was going on and who he was fighting. Erza punches him because she's like, why weren't you paying attention when I was listening? Well, or when I was talking? You know, it's obvious, you know, he couldn't pay attention because she knocked him the hell out. And then uh, they head off to this, uh, to the next train station in the route. And Eisen, the Eisenwald Guild has taken over this train station. And apparently they're using a f flute that can kill anyone that hears it. And they make it, and they say they're going to uh, use this flute through the PA system and kill everybody in the city. So, here's a Lucy, Gray, and Natsu, who is being carried in by Lucy because he's still suffering the effects of motion sickness, uh, heading in, and um, Erigor, who is their ace, kind of disappears... Erza tells Natsu and Grey to go look for him. At first, they're kind of like, I don't want to work with that guy. Well, Erza being as intimidating as she is says, go do it, and they run off and do, which I love that dynamic. It's so funny. 
leaving Erza and Lucy to deal with all the rest of them, except for two others who go after Grey and Natsu. So you get to see Erza's abilities, and Happy explains that she can requip armor and weapons at will, and they give her different abilities. Uh, Lucy pulls out cancer again and uses cancer to chop the hair off of the enemies and chop their weapons down to nothing. And Erza pretty much takes care of everybody else except for one fat guy who runs away. And she orders Lucy to run after him. And basically you realize that this whole time that station was a big distraction. I should also mention that Erza tells everybody kind of what's going on. So all the the rubberneckers and the station workers run the hell away very, very frightened. And Harry Gore puts up a wall of wind and knocks... Airs it back into it, and she can't break out of it, so they've officially trapped them inside of this area, and you realize that the guy that has the flute, which of course is still there, uh, is still Aragor, is actually headed further down towards the meeting hall where all the guild masters are, because he's planning on using the flute to kill all the guild masters, and that's pretty much where we leave off. Now, uh, if I missed anything, you guys be sure to add that in when we get to the like and dislike stuff. So, uh, let's get your impressions of this. Thumbs up or thumbs down, Gray? Thumbs up! Charles? Thumbs up! Elfman? Thumbs up! Mira Jane? Thumbs up! Erza? Thumbs up! And Lisana? Thumbs up! Alright, so, um, again, if you have differing opinions, you can say about each episode... What is one thing that you liked or didn't like about this, about these episodes? Gray. I like the fact that Ezra walks in and just instantly starts making everyone her bitch again. (laughs) Charles. On episode five, I like when uh, Loki comes in and he's like, Ares is here! He's got the everybody hit the deck look on his face. Oh, shit, get down. (laughs) And then in, um... Episode 6, I like where Erza's like, Natsu, come sit by me, punch to the stomach, and then yells at him later because he doesn't know what the hell's going on. <laughs> Elfman. Erza totally being kick-ass, yo. <laughs> Mira. I liked how um, when she looks at Natsu and Grey, you know, they revert to happy with their faces <laughs> and their voices just saying, Hi, we're friends! Do it for us! Please? Erza. Uh, yeah, that. <laughs> <laughs> Lisana. Oh, man. I still just love happy mode. I'm going to call it happy mode. Okay. Uh, there was one thing that I forgot that I thought was insanely hilarious, and I can't believe I didn't mention it. Uh, when they got to the... When they, when they finally got to the train station and she's asking all the officials what's going on, if, if, when they don't answer immediately, she knocks them to the ground. I was like, what's the situation? Uh, wham! What's the situation? Huh? Wham! Until somebody <laughs> finally gives her a direct answer. So I love that. It was great. Alrighty. I guess, I guess we'll do it this time. Uh, if you want to compare the manga to the anime... Well, which do you think was better this time, the manga or the anime? Gray. I think anime on both episodes. Okay. Charles. Um, I'm gonna have to say uh the manga because there was little things that they left out of the anime, but the anime was good too. I just preferred the manga. Okay, Elfman. I'm gonna have to say anime. All right. Mira. I think they're pretty comparable, but I kind of like the anime a tiny bit more because you get, mm-hmm. like, the funny voices and expressions from Natsu and Grey. Right. Erza. Uh, I like the manga. Okay. <laughs> Lisana. Um, I've got to say the anime was pretty good for this one. Alright, so yeah, that wraps us up for the anime recap, and we are now going to move on to the manga recap. So this week's chapter is chapter 241, and it's called The Power of Life. Uh, I like the colored page this time, but um, I really liked how they had it 